This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models and welcome to the start of a new build. This is the Optimus Prime kit from Fan Home. Uh, it's step by step artwork, as all of these things are, and uh, we'll have a look and see what's what first. Obviously, being the first one, we get our Build Your Own Optimus Prime model uh, leaflet, which obviously says Dear Collector and you know, tells you what you're going to be doing. So you can uh, go to fanhome.com and access all of your information and stuff. See when things are being shipped and what's going to be in the next package. So that's that. Let's get rid of that. Don't need that anymore. Uh, so let's have a look. The uh, introductory guide before we get to the uh, first issue. Uh, Optimus, obviously the leader of the Autobots. If you're aware at all of Transformers, you will know Optimus Prime. Uh, this is the version of Optimus Prime from the movies, not the cartoon. Uh, he's all detailed bits and metallic and... It's all lovely. Uh, it is articulated uh, metal and ABS uh, includes uh, the uh, character's weapons through to the original film model. Uh, eyes light up. There we go. So Optimus is obviously what we're going to be building. Uh, technical sheet there if you want to know more about him. Weak points. Excessively compassionate. Just like me. That's my only weak point as well. Uh, so yes, in here we have more information we've got uh, stuff about the legend each issue comes with a magazine which obviously tells you stuff about uh you know uh transformers in the cinema autobots versus the decepticons world of the transformers and your step-by-step -step assembly guide which obviously you quite need uh by subscribing you sign up and get these exclusive gifts you get some posters earring mug t-shirt uh if you subscribe to the premium offer uh, which I think is one pound extra per issue. Uh, you get a special display case, acrylic case with illuminated base, and obviously a pole that helps him stand up there. All good stuff. Uh, but one more page to this. It opens up to be what is, I believe, life size one to one picture of Optimus in all of his glory. It doesn't transform, but you can see how. The bits of the transform would go in obviously he's got wheels and the front and things and stuff so yeah that is what i am going to be building over the next couple of years basically so uh yeah let's get this out of the way what was that one more bit there we go pay with paypal and receive this special gift optimus prime bust um it's quite nice i like that doesn't say what scale or what size it is. Um, the scale of Optimus is huge. The real thing, you know, the, the head is like people sized. So it's obviously not going to be life sized, but uh, that's going to be quite nice. Uh, let's have a look in the first magazine. Uh, Transformers on the big screen, as it says. Feel free to read all of those words if that takes your fancy. Uh, Optimus Prime, obviously. The main man himself, pack file, do you know, myths and things. It's about the primes. Uh, yellow page, you know it's going to be Bumblebee, isn't it? One of the main characters in the films. And indeed, got his own film. Can't go far wrong with someone who's got his own film. Uh, Autobots in action. Yeah, the actual toys. Going to look at the universe of... I can't remember them. Uh, like a heat-sensitive uh, pad that revealed whether he was an Autobot or a Decepticon. Put your finger on it and warmed it up. Very cool. Uh, yeah, there we go. That's all of the first range. Optimus himself. That's the original generation of Optimus Prime. I had one of these. I've got the Lego version, but I had one of these in the in the real world. Very cool back in the day. I had most of them, to be honest, but there we go. Uh, right, the build, the start. The first parts that we've got in this issue, lots and lots of parts, as these part works always start, lots to begin with. Uh, we're starting with the head. 
So uh, there we go. I, I will put up these instruction pages on screen while I'm doing that relevant part, just so you can see what's what. Uh, obviously, the battery's going to the head because the eyes light up. And that is how it's going to look at the end. That's obviously how it looks in situ. But uh, we're going to end up with an Optimus Prime head, which you can't go far wrong with, can you? So let me clear this out of the way. Let's get the parts ready and we'll dive right in and start the build. OK, issue one parts. Uh, cool little uh, backing piece for these. Uh, most of the time, this part will start with a backing card for the first few issues, and then they start coming in bags and things. So uh, don't expect that every time, but it's always nice to start off with something quite nice. As we're starting off with a head, obviously, uh, make sure that there are no parts stuck to the inside of these. Sometimes static attack attracts them. And uh, don't ever dispose of the packaging until you're sure everything is done and ready to go. We've got some batteries obviously supplied in this for the first uh, part. We have a teeny tiny screwdriver. Uh, these are not the best tools, must admit. But if you've been doing part works for any time, you'll probably have a selection of screwdrivers or indeed a decent screwdriver that you've got interchangeable bits on. That's probably what you're going to end up using throughout most of this build. Uh, we have some screws now. These do have labels on them. We've got AP. Uh, what have we got on there? Get it the right way around so you can actually read it. BP. This is how they're going to be labelled. CP. And the last one, DP. So yeah, nice and easy to understand what screws are which. Uh, all silvery colour. Quite cool. Uh, and what have we got? Some There's some weight behind this. Not lots of it, but there are some weight. What have we got here? We've got... Oh, that, oh that's, it looks like a power socket. That's interesting. Not sure. We'll figure it out as we go through the build and it tells us everything. That is going to be what we're powering. LEDs on there, by the looks of it, possibly. Either, either end. They're going to be the eyes, aren't they? Uh, so, uh, yeah. What I'm going to do, I shall get all of the parts out of the packaging, get rid of the packaging, temporarily, not going to throw it away until it's finished, but yeah, uh, let's get it all started, find out what we're doing, and build it one bit at a time. So, here we have the parts, now, most of these, lots of these are metal, uh, that seems like that's probably plastic, but this is metal and has some lovely detail on it, just looking at that makes me happy. So, uh, yeah, uh, I've looked at the instructions and this is the next one, uh, which obviously this is going to be passing power down through into the body. I'm not sure what else is going to be illuminated. Uh, obviously, the, the eyes are, but that might be about it. But there's obviously some power being passed further down or something. So uh, let's have a look. We've got to put the take, plug the cable on the battery compartment, the battery compartment and the cable. Uh, not that cable, that switch cable, there we go. I haven't actually got another cable cable. We've got... Right, yes, there we go. Right, so we've got three things to plug in by the looks of it. Uh, this one, obviously, is where the power's coming from. And this is going into... Uh, that way up, and it's going on the left. Make sure you get it the correct way round. Uh, it will only go one way round, but you need to make sure you get it that way round. First way round I had it was right. So that plugs into there. Fairly easy. Uh, then it's got the neck bit across all the way across on the other side. Obviously where that power is going to pass through. Uh, so then we're not doing anything else with that for a minute. Let me move these pieces over to the side. I don't want to damage any of the bits. Pretty nice shiny bits. So what do I need now? I need... I've got to see all the pieces. There we go. There's that. And the eyes, obviously, are going to go into the face. face. Back there, giving a little bit of a blue. Uh, we're going to use an AP screw to hold that in place. Uh, that's the first one that I picked up. B 
EP. So I've got them in the wrong order. I thought I put them in order so I can keep it nice and easy, but obviously I didn't. Now we've got AP. Grab a single AP screw. Now, generally with these part works, you will get spare screws included. So they might give you five screws and you'll only be using four of them. It's always worth keeping hold of any spare screws in case you need them later on. Uh, so this is going through there to hold the wire piece in place. There we go. And then we're going to use some BP screws. Two of them. So we're going to use those to put this in place. there and they go just either side of the wires to hold that in place with it yeah let's try that again one through there when you're putting in more than one screw if you're new to my part works welcome uh, if you're not then you'll hear this again and again never tighten up the first screw always get all of the screws in a certain bit in first because that makes sure everything settles in and lines up where it should be if you put the first one in and you're a little bit off to one side then obviously you're going to be forcing the third second screw in and it's much nicer and easier on the the plastic and even the metal parts to ease them in a little bit one at a time rather than all the way down on one and then forcing the other one in place so there we have that we're good to go uh 103 involves plugging this into this piece in the middle there so this has obviously got a switch which has multiple positions three positions to this switch so i'm not sure obviously you get the power in can you only feed it to one or the other i don't know right now we've got some complicated bits that happen we need uh side one of these sides uh which one that one looks like that one so now we've got to get everything joined up going in there the switch comes out the back like that we'll lock in place ease in green places so there you go they get that in there like that Nice. Uh, this is obviously going to go on the front. Uh, doesn't look like that actually. No, it goes on the front, but not. Doesn't actually lock in place yet. The uh, top bit goes on the top. Uh, I've got the wrong bit. That's the front bit. That's the top bit. That goes on the top. The eyes have got the front bit on them. That goes on the front. Can't tell exactly where on the picture. It looks like it's quite far to the front. And is that that way round? Yes, that is that way round. Uh, and the other side needs to go in place. So let's figure out how that's going to go in. So far, only the back bit is actually located in place. Probably going to go on there. We've got pins through that, so that will go. Lock that in place, and we've got a post there that's going to go onto there. Right, okay. So the ball joint goes in the ball joint housing. That's easy. But then we've got to put that together. Right, so that doesn't go on there yet. The other side goes in place first. Make sure that lines up through everywhere. That will be a nice joint that you can move in any direction. And then these two pins will go through those two holes on the top. And that 
I go around onto there, I'm sure. Go on the front of that. I'm, I'm skipping ahead. It's got me doing that before and after, so yeah, let's pop that back off of there. Do things in the correct order. Although I'm not going to put the screws into this side quite yet. So that needs to go. Ah, there we go. That's why I can't. You've got to follow the instructions. Don't be an idiot. Those two holes are filled with those two pegs like that. So that goes on there first. Then that knocks in place and actually locks everything in place with it. Like so. So we've got a CP screws going through the top there. And these AP screws again. The AP. So I need two AP screws. Like so. I'm back in there. Leave them in your packet when you're not using them. Or put them in a pile where you know exactly what they are. But you need to make sure you know what the screws are. Don't get confused between screws down the line. Might be confusing. They might look very similar but be slightly different. Right. So. Those two will hold that together. The CP. That one. I need one of those to go into the top bit. So one of them is probably going to be kept for spare later. CP will go through the top middle hole there. Hold the face on for sure. Uh, and I am in fact now going to skip ahead. I'm going to put the batteries in and test it because I don't want to put all the extra bits on and then find out that there's a problem. So I shall pop in the batteries. I shall just flick ahead to the instructions to make sure. Yes, it does take all three batteries. And they do go in the way I thought they would with the positive side against the big spring there. So let's open these up. Grab them out. Uh, not a good idea to touch them with sweaty fingers, or indeed any fingers really, but if you haven't got a choice, handle them as little as possible. And don't short them out. Don't touch both sides at once. There's two and the third one I shall pop in the middle there, because that's the easiest way of getting that contact in. There we go. Right, so that's the three of them connected up. I'm not going to put the cover on you until it tells me to, tells me to, but we shall flick this across. And yeah, on one position, the lights come on. In the middle position probably connects to whatever goes down there. And I shall turn it off. But yeah, there we go. Bulb's working nice and bright. I like that. So I'm happy. Always worth checking things before you get too far in. Uh, right, we've got to fit the mask details. Uh, in place with another CP screw. I thought that we'd have a spare one of those, but oopsie, we don't. So, uh, I've got one R and one U to figure out which one is which. Uh, these are not those bits. These bits. I shall double check the instructions, make sure I've got the right bits, and be back in just a moment. It is those bits. Uh, they have a small difference between them. One has a smaller screw on the, a uh, smaller hole on the inside, this one, than that one. So that goes in there on that side. Uh, it does it matter which way around it goes. It has a flat side. So the flat side is obviously going to have to go against the flat side on there. Bit like that. And the screw, the CP screw, goes in from the other side. Hold that in place. 
just like that. Tighten this down. Then the other one just pops over that hole. Uh, again, there is a flat side, so we put that to the flat top bit. And that should just push in there. It does indeed. That pushes in there and holds that together. So as well as holding that in place, this also closes up that gap and makes sure that stays where it should be. That's that. Nice. Next up, we're putting that aside, moving on to this uh, with another AP screw. Get one of those out. There we go. So that is going onto there. A couple of little pins to pop through in there. Get them lined up. There we go. Pins through there and then one screw through the bottom bit to hold that together. Nice. There we have it. Uh, then that is going on to the back of here. Uh, just the four locating lugs holding that in place on there. The back of his head. Like so. Uh, and then we have the switch. Needs to pop over the switch. Uh, which way up? actually show which way up it goes so we'll try it on and see what looks right see it's only going to go one way round because of the shaping on that bit over on the left at the moment can't see it and can't line it up so let's move the switch into the middle and I've got more chance of being able to see it. Uh, it's got to go that way up, I think. Hmm. That's being a bit of a pain. Have I got it the right? It's got to be that way up. It can't be the other way up. The other way round. Let's try it the other way up, just in case I'm being dense. No, I'm not having fun with that. I shall try that off camera. Swear at it a little bit. I don't want to swear on camera because, you know, I lose my mind in monetization. See you in a moment when I've got that collected. Yep, there you go. It is that way up. So the slope is going in the same direction as all the other bits of slope. Uh, so, yeah, that's on there. So you can then move the switch without it even looking much like a switch. If you look at the back of his head, you'll see that it's there. But who's going to be looking at the back of his head when the front's there, especially with the eyes all lit up and looking lovely? So move that to one side again. We're going to start doing some work on these lovely detail pieces. Uh, that is the... Oh, this is the side of his head, isn't it? He's got the big ear things that pop up. Yeah. Right, so these are, as far as I can tell, the same. Oh, they have got an L and an R on them. Is that the same? I took them out of the thing next to it. Yeah, that's an R. So these are both the L ones. And this is indeed the left of his head. So that's going to be where these are going to go. Uh, which one is which? Bigger one. It goes down the bottom here. Uh, and there is a bigger and smaller hole on that. So make sure you get that the right way around. Uh, and it also goes on after that bit which will probably also have an R and an L on them. I can see it. I can see an R and an L on them. I'm sure there is, but let's figure it out from first principles as to which side is going to go on which. That bit comes down here. That's going on there. Probably that one goes on there like so. There we go. So that pops on there first. A little spiky metal bit. Be careful of that. 
be aware that that is there. Uh, this one will then go onto the top of that. And again, looks like one hole might be slightly bigger than the other. So that goes on there like that. I shall do the other one behind the scenes. And then I think we're almost, almost done. This goes on the side. That is looking lovely. That really is. And that is just a nice friction fit on there. No need for screws on that. Uh, I haven't seen any of these DP screws being used, which is interesting. I'm as there's two there. And I used up both of the CP. Probably one of those should have been used in place of one of those. But I don't know which one. And it's all gone together nicely so far. So I'm not too worried. Uh, the battery cover will go on place over the top of the batteries, obviously. Uh, that needs AP screws again. APs, I've got the feeling, are going to be the, the workhorse of the screws in this build. Certainly seem to be. And that leaves one left in there. There is one left in there. So, yeah. Uh, right. These go in the top. To hold the battery plate in place. Uh, does it matter which way around it goes? There are two notches. And one notch is bigger than the other, by the looks of it. So get them the right way round. It'll only go one way round properly. That will screw into there. And we are almost, so very nearly, almost there. So let me double check that I've not used the wrong screw. Correct it if I have. Put this together and then come back for the final assembly. Right, yes, I was wrong for some reason. Uh, the top screw that goes on the front and holds his face in place could have been a DP screw, not the CP screw that I used. So I've taken that out. I now have one spare of each. Uh, I have put that together. So let's pop that on there. Just like so. Looking good. And then we have his head. Uh, which will only go one way round because of the shaping of the bits. That way round. And just pushes on top. Like that. Oh, I like it. I really, really like it. Uh, the switch obviously lights up his eyes. So yes. Nice and shiny blue paintwork is amazing. It looks really good. Uh, the detail work is also really nice. That is a thing of beauty. I like that. Um, I have my Iron Man helmet. Just to give you an idea of the scale, he's going to be similar, but very slightly smaller than Iron Man by the looks of it. Um, but obviously, in universe, he would be much, much bigger. So, yeah, there we have issue one of Build Your Own Optimus Prime from the Transformers. Uh, very interested in how they've done the power through the neck. Um, it moves. It's, it's a bit stiff because you don't want his head wobbling all over the place. But that's very interesting to me that they've got all the power sitting in his head and then being passed through to wherever, probably the chest. That's all that's really else is going to light up, isn't it? So yes, there you have middle position. Not sure. That's got to be for powering down there. But that mean you can't have them both on at the same. I'm I'm just speculating, and there's no point in speculating. We shall wait. It shall arrive, and we shall finish some point soon. But for now, that is that. I do have issue two, which I shall do and present to you in a day or two. But for now, with issue one, Transformers have begun. Autobots are assembling. And I shall see you for part two very soon. So thank you for watching. Stay safe.
can't wave it and hold it. I'll put it there. Right. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye for now. Thank you.